you see many stars in the sky at night but not when the sun rises can you therefore say that there are no stars in the heavens during the day o oh man because you cannot find god in the days of your ignorance say not that there is no god he is born in vain who having attained this human birth so difficult to get does not attempt to realize god in this very life a man is rewarded according to his thoughts and motives the lord is like the kalpataru the wish yielding tree of heaven everyone gets from him whatever he seeks a poor man's son having received education and become judge of the high court by hard work is apt to think Now I am happy I have reached the highest rung of the ladder it is all right now to him the lord says be you remain so but when the judge of the high court retires on pension and reviews his past he understands that he has wasted his life and exclaims alas what real work i have done in this life to him the lord also says alas what have you done in this life man is born in this world with two tendencies vidya that is the tendency to pursue the path of liberation and avidya the leaning towards worldliness and bondage at his birth both these tendencies are as it were in equilibrium like the two scales of a balance the world soon places its enjoyments and pleasures in one scale and the spirit its attractions in the other if the mind chooses the world the scale of avidya becomes heavy and man gravitates towards the earth but if he chooses the spirit the scale of vidya becomes heavier and pulls him towards the god know the one and you will know the all zeros are placed after the figure one gets the value of hundreds and of thousands but they become valueless if you wipe out that figure one the many have value because only of the one first the one and then the many first god and then the jivas and the jagat that is the creature and the world first gain god and then gain the wealth but do not try to do the contrary if after acquiring spirituality you lead a worldly life you will never lose your peace of mind do you talk of social reform well you may do so after realizing god remember the rishis of the old gave up the world in order to attain god this is the one thing needful all other things shall be added to you if indeed you care to have them first see god and then talk of lectures and social reforms a new comer to a city should first secure a comfortable room for his rest at night and after keeping his luggage there he may freely go about the city for sight seeing otherwise he may have to suffer much in the darkness of night to get a place for rest similarly after securing his eternal resting place in god a new comer to this world can fearlessly move about doing his daily work otherwise when the dark and the dreadful night of death comes over him he will have to encounter great difficulties and sufferings at the doors of the large granaries are placed traps containing fried rice to catch the mice the mice attracted by the flavor of fried rice forget the more solid pleasure of tasting the rice inside the granary and fall into the trap they are caught and killed therein just so is the case with the soul it stands on the threshold of divine bliss 
which is like millions of the highest worldly pleasures solidified into one. But instead of striving for that bliss, it allows itself to be enticed by the petty pleasures of the world and falls into the trap of Maya, the great delusion, and dies therein. A pandit once said to the master, The theosophists say that uh, there are Mahatmas. They also say that uh, there are different planes and spheres like astral plane, solar sphere, lunar sphere, etc. And that man's subtle body can go to all these places. They say many other things as well. Well, sir, what is your opinion on theosophy? The master said, Bhakti alone is supreme, bhakti or devotion to God. Do they care for bhakti? If they do so, that is well. It is well if they have God realization for their aim and goal. But remember, to be engrossed in these trivial things as solar sphere, lunar sphere, astral sphere, etc. is not genuine search for God. One has to do sadhanas or spiritual practices in order to get devotion to his lotus feet. One has to weep for him with the intense longing of the heart. The mind should be gathered up from the different objects and concentrated exclusively on him. He is not in the Vedas or Vedanta or in any scripture. Nothing will be achieved unless one's heart yearns for him. One has to pray to him with intense devotion and practice sadhanas. God cannot be realized so easily. Sadhanas are necessary. Will all men see God? No man will have to fast for the whole day. Some get their food at 9 am, some at noon, others at 2 pm and others again in the evening or at sunset. Similarly, one time or other, in this very life or after many more lives, all will and must see God. Little children with dolls play in the outer room just as they like, without any care or fear and restraint. But as soon as their mother comes in, they throw aside their dolls and run to her crying, Mamma, Mamma, you too, O oh man, are now playing in this material world, infatuated with the dolls of wealth, honor, fame, etc., and do not feel any anxiety or fear. If, however, you once see your Divine Mother, you will not afterwards find pleasures in all of these. Throwing them aside, you will run to her.